I'm going to discuss the differential diagnosis of the chronic hypertension. So we have the chronic hypertension patient and uh, we have to write the differential diagnosis. So the mnemonic we have to remember is that of the uh, HR cap. HR cap. And in the uh, C there are four main things. So H4 cap. Uh, HR C4 AB. Okay. So what starts with H? H for H we have the hyper and hypothyroidism. Okay. Hyper and hypothyroidism okay in that we have to uh, ask from the patient or we have to check for the weight gain of the patient has the patient gained weight or not okay weight gain okay and the second thing we have to check is that the um, temperature we have to ask from the patient about the heat and cold intolerance uh, does she feel excessive cold excessive hot as compared to the other patient that way hyper and hypothyroidism needs to be ruled out <coughs> okay, the next thing uh, to that of the H is that of the <coughs> R. So, what starts with R? For R, there is a condition which is called reflux uh, nephropathy. Reflux nephropathy. Okay, in the reflux nephropathy, the patient usually complains of uh, recurrent UTIs. When the patient gets complaint of recurrent UTIs, uh, since childhood then that might indicate the reflux nephropathy and we have to ask from the patient about this in our uh, history that um, has she got the complaint of reflux nephropathy or not okay now uh, coming to the C okay, there's the four main things with the C first is that of the Kohn syndrome okay Kohn syndrome second is that of the Cushing syndrome Cushing syndrome and then carcinite tumor and the fourth is that of the CK so let's do each and everything one by one okay consyndrome what questions we will ask about the consyndrome okay regarding the consyndrome we will ask the questions that uh, whether you feel excessive myalgia or muscle weakness or not excessive myalgia or muscle weakness that indicate the the Kohn syndrome that's it's a the specific signs for the Kohn syndrome okay and next to the Kohn syndrome as we discussed before that uh, the Cushing syndrome is indicated uh, is included so Cushing syndrome okay and what are the main um, signs and symptoms of the Cushing syndrome first of all the weight gain patient um, gains a lot of weight in the Cushing syndrome. Second is that of the polyuria and polydipsia. Okay, we have to ask questions regarding these things in order to rule out the Cushing syndrome. Okay, next to the um, Cushing syndrome, we said that CKD, CKD is among the causes of the chronic hypertension so regarding the ckd we have to ask the questions regarding the renal calculi okay these are the renal calculi and about the hematuria we have to ask questions related to hematuria uh, do you feel or have you noticed any blood in the urine or not so in that way some idea about ckd we can get okay and next to the ckd the thing which is uh, left is carcinite tumor okay carcinite tumor also causes chronic hypertension and what are the signs and symptoms patient usually have the flushes okay facial flushes patient flushes okay patient usually have V's okay the wheeze is another complaint facial flushes okay wheeze and diarrhea okay we have to ask questions related to these things especially okay now coming toward the a what is included in the a okay in a we will include the autonomic or autoimmune autoimmune diseases autoimmune disease is included among the point A 
and we have to ask the patient about the rash, arthritis and mouth ulcers in order to rule out autoimmune diseases. Okay, now coming toward the last point, point P. Okay, pheochromocytoma. Pheochromocytoma is a cause of chronic hypertension in which usually patient gets headache. Okay, headache. Secondly, uh, palpitation. Okay, headache, palpitation and a lot of sweating patient has got a lot of sweating headache palpitation and sweating these are the main complaints okay so now let us revise h is for hyper and hypothyroidism r for reflux nephropathy c for cushing syndrome corn syndrome carcinite tumor and ckd a is for autoimmune diseases and p is for pheochromocytoma